Today, the world is in crisis. We have an amazing amount of chronic disease happening on the planet, and one of the most potent, widespread pandemics that we're facing is diabetes. There's 246 million people today who suffer from diabetes. It's a major pandemic situation that we have to pay attention to. We are one of the sickest countries in the world. It don't have to be that way. Type 2 diabetes has tripled in the last 10 years. That's a lifestyle disease. That's all about what you're putting into your mouth. We have an unbelievable epidemic of diabetes in this country. The rates of diabetes are skyrocketing, and we have a, a, a parallels the epidemic of obesity. We have an, the most overweight population ever in the history of the human race, and it's still growing fatter. I believe that the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and over and expecting a different result. We have to do something completely different and innovative. This is the ghetto. This is it. This is Pimlico. This is where I used to live when I was a kid, actually. <laughs> I used to actually live in the other building down there, but this is where my sister lives. So hopefully she's in. This is my sister, Nicole. Hey, darling. I'm always checking on her to make sure she's all right. She's frying nuggets. That's a lot of grease. Good Lord. Be quiet. I guess the most interesting thing that happened to me in the last year is being diagnosed with diabetes. I've been uh, having to go to the bathroom a lot but I didn't know why. So I went to the emergency room and they checked my blood sugar and they told me that my blood sugar was at 1,200. Now the normal range for blood sugar is about uh, 80 to 100. So I was far behind that range. When I went in, the doctor said, you should be dead. <laughs> it wasn't, you had a possibility of dying. At 1,200, you should not, you should have something wrong. My pills had, had one size for when I'm ready to, exactly. ready to get eaten. Well, I need to get a repo tomorrow. I've always dreamed of living to 102, you know, that's one of my goals. So to hear that already so young, you're being diagnosed with something that has a major impact on your health, it, it took me for a loop and just made me think that there's so much more that I have to do and I shouldn't be thinking that I have a lot of time to do it. So <laughs> my main thing is just getting back healthy and making sure that I stay healthy. And so whatever it takes to get that, that done, that I'm willing to, to make that, uh, that sacrifice. Uh, as growing up, the Italian people were always manja, 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 eat, 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 because whenever they shared food with their family it was a very, very precious thing. The greatest gift they could give is food to their family and their friends. One thing that's going to be an advantage and another one's a disadvantage, my wife's such a good cook. She cooks just like the old country, and oh my God, many genius you did yourself that lamb is to die for. Oh, okay. About 10 years ago, I went to my cardiologist. I was having a little hypertensive problems. And he goes, hey, you're borderline diabetes. And I heard the word diabetes, no idea how devastating this is to your life. The consequences, I got it, it affects every organ system and just your vision, your kidneys, uh, sexual dysfunction. The uh, other things with the neuropathy in the feet, uh, my feet slowly became numb one day. Got cold and chilled, so I grabbed the ceramic heater. Forty minutes later, I smelled steak cooking. I tried to follow the smell. I looked down at my feet, and my foot and it was boiling and bubbling and cooking, <laughs> literally cooking. I cooked my foot. Just I've been a big eater, and, and uh, no controls on that, and uh, so the eating just pacifies me. Just it's a wonderful pacification thing. My grandmother raised me. My diet was whatever I wanted, you know, and it always entailed a dessert because that was my reward. Oh my gosh, my favorite are gyros. I love gyros. Come to me, baby. 
I like to eat. I like to satisfy whatever I feel. I didn't really have anyone to push me that much in the right direction. I have just so much that I want to do, but I'm, I'm being held back by first my diabetes and my health. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't get to, I don't get to stuff. So I have a husband, his name is Ernest. My son Manny, he's 10. The members of my family are loving and strong and funny. Well, diabetes uh, affects me in a lot of ways. Physically, I'm not happy where I am. It just, I just want to get rid of it. Dear Heavenly Father, this is the food which you're about to receive. And we thank you for this day. And we love you. And we say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah. The only thing I do, I want is to watch my grandkids. I'd like to see them get big. And the way I'm going, if I don't do something about it, I'm not going to be around to see them. And Grandpa flips that. Then he puts his finger up there like that. And that oh. hurt. And, and then I put, squeeze it oh. so the blood comes out. And then I put it on here. And then the numbers come up there. 464. That is bad. Like my doctor told me, my diabetes is out of line. He says, you're going to die. You're killing yourself. Yeah, he tell me what I had to do, but I didn't do it. I take nine other pills besides my insulin. No, I try to watch what we eat for him. Because uh, I buried one. I don't want to bury another one right away. So. Of all the things that you take, orange juice puts it up there. Then why do you drink it? Oh, I love it. Nobody likes to to be defeated, especially, you know, on their own body, you know. My father was a diabetic. My brother's also a diabetic. Oh, and I have a sister that's diabetic. The way we ate may have contributed. Okay. Now, push it in, Alex, please. Thank you, dear. You have to be careful, because Grandma's sick here. I just want to get the paper. I live in the house with my disabled husband, Willie Mitchell, my daughter, and four grandchildren. It's pretty hectic at times. I've never really taken time for myself. To people focusing on me, no. I've never had that. Um, I'm pretty much an all-American boy, you know, grew up with dirt on my knees and grass stains on my face, you know, that's, that's just how I grew up. I was a brat of the family because I'd always be fighting and they didn't realize till years later that it was my diabetes. Like, it's it just, I hated it, you know. I resented God for it. I think I still might sometimes. That's why I rebel. <sighs> 27. Ah. That's crazy. So I'm trying to quit drinking altogether. Wondering if I'm ever going to actually be able to stop using alcohol forever, you know what I mean? Because that's the hardest battle I ever fought. I'll probably live to like 50. That's what I think, but I might not. You know, I could heal. I might live longer or I might die tomorrow. I don't know. I really wanted to get off insulin. I, I hated taking, you know, stick yourself in the stomach and then it was just too much. So one day I'm surfing online and I go across Craigslist and I find that there's an advertisement for a raw for 30 days and reversing diabetes. So I figured this had to be it. I was really, really open because you know my whole thing was I'm not used to being on insulin. I don't want to be on insulin and I was willing to try something to get me off insulin. But I had no idea what raw food was. 
only nut seeds and vegetables. So that's, that was a bit, bit of a challenge, but I was really open to it. And they said, okay, fine, we're gonna you know, come bring you out to Arizona to do the raw challenge and so forth. And it turned out to be six of us. If this will cure me in a month of diabetes, oh Lord, I would love to uh, tell the world about that. Absolutely. You know, when you love someone, you don't want them to be separated from you for 30 days. But other than that, she's taking a big step and this is going to be the beginning of something great for her. So yes, I definitely am proud of her. You know, if this program works for me, hey, I don't care whether Joe Blow can handle it, you know, which he might not be able to, which maybe I can, maybe I can't. Maybe somebody else can come along and uh, handle it better than I can. You know, it just, that's just one of those things that we're going to have to find out. I want to see how my body's going to react to the change and to see if it's really going to help to control my diabetes. But that takes work. And I got to make up my mind if I really want to work for it. I'm glad I get to go to Arizona. I've never been to Arizona, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope I can, you know, help my diabetes out a little better. I hope it'll further my life a little bit in the next month, you know? And I hope I help the people that I'm around, too. This is rugged, man. Uh, okay, this is going to be very cozy, to say the least. Welcome I'm to my world. Still. I feel like I'm at camp, <laughs> like when I was little. I got real homesick already, <laughs> but I'm going to tough it out. Oh, hello. What's so, up, man? I'm a, I'm a juvenile diabetic. Um, type 1. I don't have type 2 diabetes. I've had diabetes. So you had diabetes since you were a kid? Yeah. How was so, that? Uh, it sucked. When I, but I don't even remember not having it. When I was 11, they, like, I almost died. I lost 25% of my body weight. And when you're a little 11 year old, you weigh like 75 pounds, you know, so I had to go to the hospital and they just started making me take shots every day, so my childhood was ruined. <laughs> no, you get used to it, you know, as a little kid. It's just the way life is. So, you know, whatever. I'm a defective human being. And I love it. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Just keep it simple, I'd be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just the hard part, keep it as simple. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the Snickers look really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love to not have to take a shot. I hate sticking myself with this. Uh -huh. I hate needles in the first place. So like I've always tried to watch what I ate, you know. I count carbs, I count calories and stuff like that. And I still came down with it. So it's like, hey, you gotta make something different. You gotta try something different. In this month, 
you'll see an incredible transformation of the people moving from eating junk food, pesticided, herbicided food, high animal fat, low fiber, high sugar, and moving towards raw, organic, and put them on a no sugar diet. My name is Dr. Cousins. I've been working in holistic medicine for 35 years. And for me, healing diabetes is actually quite easy. This is not a new thing. Uh, with the approach we use, I want you to know that literally hundreds of people have been healed by type 2. I'm going to share with you in a little bit three cases of type 1 that have also been healed. I saw that what I learned at Columbia Medical School, which is a great medical school, was symptom focus. And even though I was really expert in pharmacology, from my biochemistry background, I saw, wait, there's something not right here. How do we go to a deeper level of healing? And that took me into training people and educating people and ultimately creating the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center where we could create an all-encompassing environment that people could really get a taste of what it's like to really be healthy. One thing you're going to learn about live food is that's a diet that works the best. And what's the reason? Is when you cook the food, you lose 50% of the protein, 70 to 80% of the vitamins and minerals, and close to 100% of the phytonutrients. I'm going to ask everyone to cut your insulin intake by one-third. That's our first focus. So we have to try real hard, and you have to be aware that it's going to move a little fast. Our biggest concern, quite frankly, is people getting insulin shock from getting off insulin so quickly. The diet that works the best is a high-fiber, high-carbohydrate, low-protein, low-fat diet. That's a diet that works the best. Is this your first meal besides the soup last night? Yeah. yeah. Today we have uh, some classic burgers, and most of the time our burgers are made with some sort of nut base. This one happens to be walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then we usually throw in some vegetables. This one has um, uh, olives and uh, tomatoes. A 100% raw food diet consists of fruits, vegetables, nut seeds, avocados, and you can eat some sprouts. It's food that's unfired. You know, it hasn't been processed in any way. Doctors today, they tend to be more uh, coming in after there's already a problem. They don't tend to be preemptive. But doctors probably, a lot of them aren't even aware that one of the big maxims from Hippocrates, father of modern medicine, was let food be thy medicine, medicine thy food. Here goes nothing. It's a veggie burger. Mm. I think it's beyond veggie burger. <laughs> it's like a nut burger. Oh? Nut burger. A oh, nut burger, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's all right. Yeah, it's just different. You'd just get used to it. it. If yeah. you grew up eating it, you could like it. <laughs> you could like it. <laughs> I wonder how our stomachs are going to react to this first meal. Mine yeah, already yeah. reacted. It looks like coconut. Dang, it's it's a chocolate coconut tort. I can do I'm this. Sure. This yeah. is delicious. Yeah. Salute, guys. This is all part of Italian toast to your health, all of your health. We have become so drug oriented. You know, we live in a world where we become kind of so pharmaceuticalized that the idea of changing anything just through diet is kind of preposterous, I think, to a lot of people. That that's that's almost like old medicine, like like a witch doctor. Okay, well, pop your cheeks out for me. Okay. Reaction. And everything looks symmetrical, you got your say ah. Good. Your oxygen saturation is 92%, which is um, really low. 
These are white blood cells. Okay. These are red blood cells. See it? Oh, they're okay. They're wormy like that. Yeah. They're fed by sugar. Actose, 30 milligrams of sugar. Okay, you can stop that. Fortiment. Can we stop that too? Oh, med 9? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to stop that. Today, you know, the philosophy of most people is better living through chemistry, which, you know, is a you know, modern opportunity, but it also has its price. You know, now you see the, the drug that's been using for type 2 diabetes for so long that now it's under fire. They're going to put the black box on it that says make heart, heart failure. So my view is start with a natural approach. Maybe you have to go to chemistry, but why not exhaust that possibility so you don't end up having all these side effects that you find out five years, 10 years later, 20 years later, where maybe it's too late. I would expect that uh, as we're unfolding, that probably by the end of the week, most people will be off insulin. What, 17? 17. That's pretty good. Seems like I am normalizing. Hallelujah. That's the lowest it's been in quite a while. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, okay. Sugar's been like the highest of everyone here. But it's gonna, I know it's gonna go down. Yeah, it is. It's just gonna take a little bit for your body to stabilize and get used to this stuff. So. Do you not wanna see? Look how high it is. It went up higher. 62. So okay, I just be, just be patient with it. You're, you're off your medication and your body's still getting acclimated to what we're doing here. So just write it down on your sheet and I'm show going it to I'm under a rock now. No, but it'll, it'll get better. It'll get better. Okay, so that's a 60-point drop, and you cut your insulin by a third. A third. Okay. Uh, I didn't take it last night. Great. Wow. So it's even better. <laughs> wow. So what was your blood sugar today? Four hundred. Oh. Maybe Michelle, it'll come down, sweetie. You just take its time. Everybody goes at different rates. Everybody's different. Everybody's a little different. I mean, everybody's moving very fast. You know, when you're talking about something that the New York Times says is incurable, everyone here is off insulin. Or, you know, I mean, you've cut your insulin in half as a type one. Isn't that so bad? So we <coughs> have to hold the perspective. A lot of people use food to stuff their emotions. And as people begin to heal, they begin to let loose of some of those negative emotions, and they need to be cleared as part of the healing process. So we see that happen. I don't know what's wrong with me, but um... I feel really strange, and I can walk all the time. My legs, I feel like I'm going all over. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. I feel weak. I, I could walk this any other time, and I feel like my body is going another way. It's boring in the house. I'm bored to death. I just want this 30 days to be over. I'm sure the doctor is right. 
But for me, my physiology, I need something to eat. And I, I just feel so in so inferior to the people at the house because they're just doing it. I'm the only one that's like having a hard time. This isn't usually my personality. I'm not this down, but I feel crappy. I just totally made up my mind today that um, I'm gonna leave. It's not because of my health issues. It's not because of anyone. I just want to go home. I can't be away from my family that long. I'm really sorry if I, that I disappointed everyone, but um, I had to do this for myself. Is Michelle going home? For sure. I think she's really, really missing her family, and so far she hasn't really seen that much progress. It's hard to tell her that it's only a month. It's not that big a deal. Like, why go to all the hassle when just we're almost done with the first week already? I know it, it must be hard, but you can only imagine how much your family would miss you if you get sick because of diabetes and, yeah. you know, pass away. The thing is, it's so much healthier for her, you know what I mean? Like, for all of us, like, it's going to be so much better for her in the long run. Why can't she see that? It takes time, you know? Five days, is that's not enough time to give it, give it a chance to work. No. I have a feeling that I want to leave, too. Why would you want to leave, though? My spirit tells me. You know, we, we subconsciously can deceive ourselves, too, with fears and emotions that we don't understand. How do you differentiate between the spirit and... Um, your inner self. Your inner yeah, self. I know, but, I, I know, but that's intuition. Wrong. That's kind of like intuition. It has nothing to do with intuition. Um, I, I don't understand what uh, how you differentiate that that's between it. your you inner self. You do not understand. You're yeah. Catholic. Well, I mean, I'm still here. Well, being. you have your beliefs and I have mine. Mm. That's the individual thing. Okay. I know this is going to work for you, you know? This is really important. I know this has probably been a blessing that you've been asking for. And you know sometimes things happen and it just seems like a scaling back, but going to move forward as much as you believe in God as much as you sing in church and I know you pray for this and this is this is this is why you're here this is why we're all here all of us want this change you want this thing so bad you're forgetting where you came here for not just for you but for your children right actually yeah 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 because I did right. tell my son I said That's he didn't want me to go he cried uncontrollably, unconsolably, and I looked at, and I'm holding him, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm saying, but baby, I'm, you, you, you want a new mommy, don't you? So yeah, I did. I did, you know. Yeah. It'd just kill us to see you leave. I know. Yeah, Especially when we know you're so capable. I know, but I already <coughs> made my decision. Oh, you can't do that. I already and made up my mind. Do you know what a blessing this is? I know. How can you do that? Don't, don't you want to get through this and be the person you want to be? I, I thank the Lord every day for being here. I thank you, dear Lord, to give me the opportunity. I couldn't have done this by myself. I didn't even know that this was a way. I didn't even know. This wasn't an option from the doctors. Michelle, I didn't know. How many people can you touch with this knowledge here and you actually lived to heal the diabetes? Can you see the opportunity you have? We're just rooting for you. We want to see you at the end of the 30 days. <laughs> with that smile that you came in here with. <laughs> with a fire burning. Thank you. And I know you can do it. Thank you.
announcement? Yes, I wanted everyone to know that I'm staying. Yay! Yay! Great last night. So <laughs> oh, our hearts go out to you, my dear. We're so excited for you. That's yes. Cool. Yes. It's it's really good that this came up because it's the struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, it's you and another 21 million people go through the struggle. Mm -hmm. It isn't so easy, but give it time. Things are going to go up and down, and hopefully, you know, you will see a more steadiness. And for some of you, already hit the steadiness, and some of you aren't. I mean, remember, each of you are like a miracle. We're reversing the process, but it takes a little time. Who would think that in a week, you know, so many of you would be doing so well? All right. Hello. Hi, baby. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Well, I have some good news. I decided I'm going to run on for the next three weeks here. Uh, uh. It just came to me at 1 o'clock in the morning that if I leave, I won't see the, the results. Uh -huh. And I see such great results already. Ernest, I don't know if you remember, but on my left breast, you do remember the breast, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how can I, I was, uh, oh, okay, honey, honey, baby. <laughs> but on my left breast, I had a bump for yep. like for 15 years, honey. The bump is gone. And the, oh, wow. And it's all smooth. My whole, everything is just changing. The doctor was saying there's like 22 million or probably more that have it. And... All they're doing is being bandaged with this, with the medicine. It's not a cure. This food that I'm eating, honey, is like healing me from inside. And this can, I can beat diabetes, honey. Aww. I love you so, so much. I love you, honey. You're going to be so fine. Mm. Honey, you have my, my support 100%. Oh, just, just know that I'm with you, okay? Okay, baby. All right, have a good day, okay? All right, honey. All right. Bye-bye. Shoot, if I had my sneakers, I'd walk up that hill right now. As good as I feel. Wow, I feel amazing. Like, wow. Just like I could conquer the world. Matter of fact, I am conquering the world. I am. I was taking 17 different pills a day, plus my insulin. I'm off of them. I'm not on any of those. Dear Mommy, we miss you. It's hard for me to live without you. If you are homesick, please come back. We all miss you. We can't see or visit you, and that's dumb. Me and Ernest are fine, but we miss you. I love you. So nice. Oh my gosh. I feel great about the diet itself and what it has been able to do for me. And seeing all my co subjects, how it has just been miraculous for them. I love salads and greens and tomatoes and cucumbers, avocados. If I had my druthers, I would love to come here and become a part of this lifestyle and bring my family with me and, you know, get a trailer, buy a little piece of land, get a trailer and pop it right there. I've been the man with a lantern looking for the truth and my God, found it. Lunch wasn't good. I thought because it was tacos it might be good, but it was disgusting. The food starts to wear on me after a while. Yeah, I can stick it out. I can stick anything out. Just don't really want to. Welcome everybody um, to Chocolate Making 101. Cacao has the highest amount of antioxidants than any food. Chocolate has 
I think at least 10 times more antioxidant properties than pomegranates, which are already very high. That's saying a lot. <laughs> it's a wonderful food. It really is a superfood. So once we've melted down our wet ingredients, we're gonna incorporate the dry <coughs> ingredients. Can you guys smell this, by the way? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's yeah. intoxicating yeah. on its own. Charcoal yeah. it. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, Kurt and I can't wait to just <laughs> stick your finger in it. We can put some almonds on the inside. Oh yeah, you can put almond butter, make almond butter cups, or, or just um, almond. peanut butter cups, or just cover almonds. Yeah. Hey, you guys ready to try this? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll go around this way. Now, the texture with this chocolate and the taste is gonna be a lot different when it's warm. I like that. Yeah, I mean, it tastes I like that coconut. It tastes the coconut. Oh, yeah, right? But essentially, that does it. That's Chocolate Makeup 101. So thank you all for coming, I appreciate it. I can't wait to eat the rest of it for lunch. You should have seen his legs this morning. I mean, bad. Does your uh, skin get real dry? Oh, yeah. I so do. this is what you need. Feel, feel how dry those are. This feels like alligator skin. Oh, my God. See what I'm saying? It's horrible. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. I don't want to scare you or nothing, but my, my grandmother, they took her feet off. Both of them. Then it went up to her knees. Now that's what we're and here And this for. up here killed her. Yeah, that's what we're you know. here for. After breakfast, 128, it was one, uh, was it 110 this one? What do you get? 128. Cool. After breakfast, that's awesome. That is terrible. That's normal. Oh, my God. I gotta check mine again see what the hell I'm doing. What? Dropped to 194. Oh, wow. Super. Cool. So I'm dropping again. No insulin. Oh, watch out. This keeps up. I'll be feeling like a man pretty soon instead of a eunuch. <laughs> My blood sugar is 155. Yeah. From this morning it was 176. My breathing is better. My mind is clearer for some reason. Clear? Yeah. Any other time I'd be thinking about food all the time. Sometimes I get those waves of hunger. Right now I'm on a cracker binge or a fiend. I'm really fiending for crackers. Can you bring me crackers? Crackers? Yes, crackers. <laughs> you want some kind of crackers? Yes! <laughs> tell me about the, the cheese nips. It you doesn't just tell have Michael, trans fat. I'm telling you, tell you about the cheese nips <laughs> that they have at the store. It has partially hydronided whatever crap. So it's not wholly, it's partially. Well, we I want a whole pack of crackers. <laughs> and I'll eat maybe one a day. <laughs> yeah, right. I just have the cheese nips in my memory. They have them new now with jalapeno stuff in it. <laughs> this is a nice little walk, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I mean, my sugar won't be going down. Oh, yeah, your sugar will be down. <laughs> this is what we need. We need exercise. Mm -hmm. Oh, they go to market over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Valentine's hot luck. Brown sugar cinnamon. It says flavor in every bite. They had cheese mix, and it said zero sugar. Um, well, yeah, you, a little sugar, but I probably got the other fat. French fat stuff in Oh, gosh, 250 milligrams of sodium. But no cholesterol. Put up there on the table. No trans fat, no saturated fat, no sugar, zero sugars. I get another cotton two. seed oil. Uh -huh. You get two and Corn stock. All right, you win. Yeah, hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's the stuff they get you, but it's also good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that polysorbate. 80? Mm. Okay. So you get 9% for each one, of these slices yeah, you need? Yeah, I under, no, it says. One serving is one slice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so I eat one a that's day? That's how you have to learn how to read labels. That's the, <laughs> it's a big difference. I about to say, you know what, I really wasn't tempted. 
do what? I wasn't tempted. It didn't make me. I, I wasn't tempted. I've already. Oh. I found my replacement cacao. I don't. I don't even. I'm not even yearning for that stuff anymore. Oh. I'm run down. My body's run down. My sinuses. I didn't sleep at all last night. Change of diet. Everything's just boom, boom, boom. My body's tired. I'm starting to, I'm getting on ready. Shopkaich. Shopkaich. No, when I say shopkaich, you say pop to eat. Pop to eat. <laughs> Tell me what joke did you tell me, that perverted joke you just told me? I forgot what it was. I don't know, I've told so many jokes, I can't remember them all. I can't remember. They just, just come to me. <laughs> jokes just come to me, I don't try to remember that. They just, somebody you. says something and it'll remind me of a joke. I mean, I don't. It's all right, too. This guy was in the bar, drinking. Mm -hmm. All at once, this devil appears in front of him. Poof! And the devil looks at him and goes, ha, 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 ha. The guy drunk looks at him and says, you don't scare me. I've been married to your sister for 20 years. <laughs> hey, hold on up. I'm still sitting on my stomach. Yeah, yeah. 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 So did you eat any breakfast this no, morning? No, I didn't eat any. I don't, I don't think I could hold it. No more of the, the chest pain type stuff? No, nothing. I just sick on my stomach. Yeah, just I think it's a GI. Doing flip-flops on me. Whenever you change your life, there's some kind of detox that's going to happen. We have strong coping mechanisms, defense mechanisms, um, compulsive behaviors that we've developed to make it through life. And when, when, when you change your life, all of those are challenged. We have to remember when you go to an all raw diet that the average American, part of the problem is not the diet itself, where the diet's going to work. The problem is they're starting from such a toxic state. That's why when you go into an all raw diet, you don't feel good because your body knows all of a sudden that you stop poisoning it. Your blood pressure was great. 118 right. over 72, it's never been that it good. Was, uh... Yeah. The body has certain healing qualities. And in order to heal itself, it has to throw out the toxins, the pesticides, herbicides, all these blockages, and old diseases kind of appear and heal. Well, I'll come back and check on you and see if we can figure out some sort of juice or something maybe that yeah. would help settle your stomach and give you a little cranberry bit of Cranberry juice, I drink a lot of cranberry juice. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody likes to be waited on by a pretty lady. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'll just do it? Yep. Push the little button in the middle. Ow! Your mama. Okay, baby, come on. Come on, babe. Oh, there we go. That's enough. Two red. One eleven. You telling me what program works? What program works? This works. This works. The other crack will work. And this is still inside this machine telling me that it didn't work. That's not keep that stuff. Keep that baby. It's crazy. Just gotta look again. 111 girl. Give me a hook. It's working so hard. You understand what this program is about. I threw up a while ago, and, and uh, when I'm still woozy, dizzy, and sick in my stomach. Oh, you can do it. Maggie? Yeah. I don't like know. You can do it. I don't know. I'll try. My mind does not like this 
it just rejects its food, you know. And all you can do is you set your mind to it. I don't have uh, the heart anymore, you know. Well, you want to go back to getting yourself off again? Well, I have to. That's what it's going to take. I've already made up my mind, yeah. I just... Let's do it, honey. Yeah. I'd love to see you without it. Well, we'll talk about it later. All right, let's baby. Baby, good night. Good night, honey. She lost one husband and she don't want to lose another one. Well, Henry's the sat was 97%. Okay. This pressure is perfect. It's perfect. It's hard to It's perfect. It's a long sat. That's what I used to tell my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not perfect, I'm as close as you can you get. Yeah. Fine specimen, you know. Yeah. Your cousin coming? Yeah. Where was he coming from? Sacatone. Sacatone, where was that? Uh, 50 miles on this side of Phoenix. Mm. He's coming to visit you? He's coming to get me. Ten years ago, I could have done it. I'm getting too old. Too old for what? Too old to take this crap. Oh crap. Well, my brain don't want the food. It just rejects it, literally. I mean, you know, I look at it and I just want to scream. There's wonderful food here. Fresh, live, clean. I know. It's okay for some food, people, yeah. but it's, it's not me, you know? I mean, how can all you people be wrong, you know? It's got to be me. It's not all you, you know, you guys can eat it. All the more power to you, but I can't. I just can't do it, you know. Two more weeks of your hanging in there, just by, you know, will. I can't just, hack yeah. it. I can't hack another day. Okay. Well, whatever you decide, good luck. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. No. I do know that the the more you lay down like Henry's doing, mm -hmm. I went and told him, get up out of this damn bed. Because it's not doing nothing but sapping your energy. Yeah. It's not giving you any energy. Yeah. Get out the bed. Once you start moving, exercise, you, Once you start moving, you will get... If he don't do nothing but walk in here and walk back, walk out on the porch, sit out there and saw, absorb that air, you know. So he needs to stop staying in his room and, and everybody needs to stop pampering him. That's the biggest thing. In order for this stuff to work for other people, they're going to want, they're going to have to want this to work. Work. Have to. It's not easy. It's going to take a lot of work. But then nothing good ever is easy. Mm -hmm. We enjoy the Taco Bell, we enjoy the chicken, we enjoy the fish. And in so much we get lost in that, the salad. The, the, the salad. The enjoyment. The salad is lost. Yeah. The raw food is lost. Lost. All the time. And it's just like, wow, what's lost is what's actually healing you. <laughs> so how's your blood sugar doing? It's high, low, high, whatever. So you're still taking about 25% uh, of the insulin you were taking? Yeah. So you're feeling pretty good with that? Yeah. Yep. What do you think about the potential of getting off insulin for the rest of your life? Um, probably zero percent chance. I don't know. You know? Realistic. I, I don't buy that. I... Well, I, like, I want to get off insulin more than anything. Like, that would be the best thing in the world, to get off insulin. But every doctor I've ever had since I've been 10 years old has told me that I'll take shots for the rest of my life and that there's no hope of ever getting off insulin. So just accept the fact that I'm going to be taking shots for the rest of my life. Well, that's a hard thing to get by. Yeah. That's a real I mean, hard that's thing. That's like 100 doctors told yeah. me that stuff. But what's Dr. Cousin say? He said there's three cases where it's been cured. I want to kind of read up on those cases. Yeah. You got an incredible chance to beat this thing, and uh, it, it's, everything in life comes with a price. And this, I, I don't know. It looks. I feel like you've had. You've, it's incredibly lucky that you're here. I'm trying. I love it. It'd be nice.
So you you taking off? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That sucked. Yeah. I gotta go though. And there was my partner in crime. I cannot, even. I cannot last another two weeks. Yeah. I understand. I just can't do it. I want to, but I can't. You know, my body says no. My mind says no. I gotta do what the little man inside me tells me. Yeah. If I didn't, I wouldn't be true to myself. I would be living a lie. Come on, Henry, hang in there. We only got two more weeks. Can't do it. Yes, you can. Uh, you can. I can't do it, Mama. Yes, you can. You just don't know. want to. That's what that is. You think so? Yes, you just uh, don't want to. Yeah. You you listening to the feeling instead of to the. Well, I just listen to the Lord, and He says, Henry, sometimes you just piss me off. Well, maybe you'd have done something to piss him off right now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, With me, you can do it. I was trying to get Gabriel to give you some Diet 7-Up because it doesn't have any sugar or caffeine. He got mad at me kind of this morning during the class. said that I was, uh, like you, he said that I was, uh, what, what did he say? He said I was too resistant <laughs> to the cause. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. You started me here. How did you kill me? Look at the. How you doing? Carter, you got everything on the bathroom? Alright, I wish you the wish you the best. I wish you decided to stay. I, stay. Like, I know. If you get a topic here when you change your mind, turn back. We still want you. Uh, All right. We want you. Hey, here. Mama. You're cured. So lucky. I'm so lucky. I miss you already. I miss your golden voice. Two wonderful weeks of energy. You see your heart taking care of me like you do. You know, if you want to call me in the next day or two and you feel like you need to come back and... Yeah, because I'll just be over the hill here. I'll just come. I'll come get you. So just call me. Well, thanks for the invite. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Henry, if you change your mind, he'll go get you, man. He'll come right up and get you. Thirty pounds. He went, and his blood sugars were always under two hundred, weren't they? And he was off insulin, so they got what they wanted. He just couldn't handle it. Yeah. His stomach just couldn't handle it. It is no such thing as you too sick. Uh. See, that's one thing we have to learn how to go over. Not what we feel, but what we want to do. I still, still wish he would have stayed because I'd love to see him at the end. Telling you great things at the end, but it's tough going through it. And that's what people have to realize. Even when we get back home to tell the people who we've mm -hmm. been through. But then you gotta know, this isn't gonna be easy. But yeah. you're gonna, but the end is always worth the struggle. I was a soldier in a car of life. The arrow deep in my side. I'd return one day my life To the heavens we would ride
Austin. Uh, breakfast is up. Eight. Five, uh, something like that. Tria, life granola. Delicious. A real cereal. And it's good for you. Yes, it is. So this stuff sweet. What? what? That stuff? That's pure glucose. I know. Why are you drinking it? Oh, my sugar is low. Oh, really? Yeah, but when you eat, it's going to go up. Why well, take that? My sugar is 47. Mm -hmm. so? I got to drink a little bit of it. Drop if it your sugar is 47, you got to drink something, and then you deal with it later. You take a shot. It's better than... Because this won't put it up at all. This will put it up like 50. That's what I'm saying. Your system's going to keep going through these shocks. We're going to have to balance it out somehow. Well, last night it was just high and I was just sick of it, so I gave it a shot to bring it down. And it did. That's ridiculous. Where's Michelle? You just have to relax. If anything was wrong, he would have tried to get a message here. What's that? That looks like somebody. Look at the camera. Here. <laughs> oh, it, was, it, was, it was beautiful in uh, Tucson. <laughs> Seems like you got shorter. Ah, oh, I just got slimmer. <laughs> <laughs> this is my family, Ernest. <clears throat> How's it going, Ernest? Good. This How are Kurt. you? Fine, fine. <laughs> nice, nice meeting you. <laughs> this is the Italian. Nice show. meeting you, man. <laughs> My pleasure. I've heard about this guy's voice. Oh. Oh. Italian. Oh, parlo italiano. Oh. Si, parlo italiano, molto bene. Infatto, benone. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> We're making nori rolls. Uh, the vegetables that we're going to use this evening are cucumber, bell peppers, tomatoes, which are also here, avocados, and sprouts. So now we're going to lay down some sprouts. Since these are vegetable rolls, I'm going to add a little bit more vegetables than I normally would. I'm just going to roll it really carefully. And it's okay if some of the stuff kind of falls out. You can always tuck it in. And Carefully pick up your rolls, set them down, and then you can just garnish around the plate. This beautiful fan of avocado. You could put in like this at the top. You could garnish it on the plate. And then you can always add a few sprouts in there just for color. And there you have it. Excellent. Simple nori rolls, vegetable rolls. Did you check your blood sugar? Yes, Kurt, I did check my blood sugar. How was it? 86. 86? 86. It's going down low. No, but seriously, do you think that the program is working? Yeah, it's. he said it, it might take a little longer for it to work for type 1 diabetes, but today and yesterday, it was, it was, real, it was high one time yesterday, and then today it's just been low. I don't know. I'm, everybody's doing so well. Yeah. You're doing well, and you are doing really, really well at the beginning. I mean, your insulin was so down. And then it was like, I don't know where, you just stopped believing in it, and then some of the things you're sabotaging. Your blood sugar's low. Instead of taking it easy and let your body adjust to where it comes back up, you, you take glucose pills, which shoot it right up, and then you gotta take a shot to bring it back down. And I'm like, you're throwing your system for a loop when your system's trying to relax and rest and adjust during the 30 days. Well, the only reason the glucose, remember my sugar, what was it, 37? So I had to add some glucose. So I was really low that day, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. I don't want you to, to like leave from here and don't think that the stuff really works. And I don't want it to be to where like you're you're trying to disprove this lifestyle, you know? And like you you know, you're saying you're type one and that because you're type one certain things are gonna happen. And I know you know your body better than we do, but it's like you're not taking taking that chance with getting off of insulin. 
The reason is, I think, is because I've been told my whole life that there is no way, you know, and every single doctor I've ever had is just like, you know. But you've been listening to doctors all this time telling you that they can't get you off insulin. When I got diagnosed with diabetes, they told me that I was going to be a diabetic for the rest of my life. But we came here searching for somebody to get it off of, off of insulin. I mean, we're here. We're here. We're, we're, we're at least with somebody who's trying to show us, or at least give us another option. Then we're surrounded by what I understand to be love grass. Actually, you never felt it. Yeah. It's like straw. It almost feel like artificial flowers. Yeah. <laughs> they really do. Yep. And the first week, I'm not gonna lie, all I could not take my mind off of what I was missing. Well, food, I was hungry. They made a mock hamburger and fries. Okay, it looked like a hamburger, but it didn't taste like a hamburger. It what was it made out of? Nuts and Flax, but then they tried tacos out of flax again. The flax taco thing, and I, I that was beautiful, it looked beautiful. Okay. And they had a cold chili, a cold lasagna, well, raw, I should just say raw. You know, it's good for you, so. But not everything that's good for you t tastes, tastes good. good. Most of the time, and it doesn't. I'm a big taster, you know? I'm getting there. I really am. This place actually saved my life. Yeah. Because had I not come here, I probably would have died really soon. You know, I probably had a really high blood pressure because, I mean, I'm just regulating it now. I probably would have died or ended up in the hospital. He's been talking too much about going to Mexico. I say let him go. He needs to go. He needs I, to go. I, no, I have a different opinion. I say he can't go unsupervised. I can go if I want. I, I agree with that. Are you kidding me? Uh, yes, I agree because you're foolish. Well, I, why couldn't I? Like, I'm 25 years old. You're talking about the program, right? Sure. Well, I don't care if someone can supervise me and hold my hand. So that's what you guys think I'm on a train. I'm probably worried about the food. I don't even care. They don't know how bad I want to go, like I really want to go, so I just figured I'll go. What's wrong with my shoelaces? You can't get in trouble for hitchhiking. I've never gotten in trouble for hitchhiking. I don't hitchhike that much, but when I need to, I have, you know. Like, I don't even care about eating, and I'm not going to drink just because they don't want, they really didn't want me to, you know. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have anyway on the diet, but it seemed like they really were adamant about it. So I won't even have a beer or nothing. Is that good enough for you, darling? It's just fine. It's just fine? Right. Okay, how about you, sweetheart? 112? Wow. Let me show you. We're huge. That's the lowest. That's the lowest. That's the lowest we have. We're huge. What is it? What is it? What's the score? 112. I was 146 this morning. Let's see what we got. 77. Wow. Wow. Every day I'm focusing on closing on all the Taco Bells and the McDonald's and the Burger Kings and all the garbage that's out there that just, or just had destroyed me personally and, and 91 other million diabetics. Get happy, get happy, and your sugar will go down. Get happy, get happy. Spread the love around. Mm. Oh, I knew that, I was just sick. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor. Oh. Hi, y'all. Yeah, and your sugar will go down. Oh, it's 109. That's the lowest it's ever been. I told you everything would turn out all right. 
turn out fine. What did I say? In like five hours? Look at that. Five hours were bad. Got to go to Mexico. Great time. Genuine Mexican tequila bought from Mexico. What about the booze? What about the booze? I didn't drink any booze in Mexico. You want to kiss me? Find out. <laughs> Go buy a breathalyzer. I don't care. No, I haven't been drinking. Jeez, why you even ask me? That's what I'm talking about right there. This is almost gone. It was like, it was one liter. But one liter of Smirnoff. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. Mexico. Um, no one would pick me out for like 30 minutes, man. I probably walked like a mile or so. And then finally, chicks, two girls, there's two 29 year olds, pick me up. So they drive me to the border and I freaking get some liquor. So you're freaking kind of drunk at uh, Mexico. Like, I'm kind of drunk right now. Cause I drank a whole bunch. I can't can't even handle more. I, got, I bought a taco, enchilada, oh, just, and a bunch of stuff. I ate it all. Hopefully, I don't get sick. But no one has the balls to go and do it. I had a fun time today, man. I told you everything would turn out all right. What's your sugar this morning? This only eight four this morning. Okay. Uh, no, that's, that, that's not low. No, it's not low. It's perfect. But he went. You went to bed late, yeah. and he um. Sleeping on the couch. Oh, so you went down the road. I was on the phone. <laughs> right. okay. I didn't think I'm back at home. So Plus, Austin oh. was throwing up all night, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Why was Austin throwing up all night? Yes, he's trying to recover from his alcohol. How did you get a hold of that? He hitchhiked to Mexico. So he's recuperating then. <clears throat> Make sure he drinks plenty of alcohol fluids. Six. Not bad at all. For what people and I would have thought. It's not bad at all. What are you doing? I was wondering what this is. And that. That's mine. I'll keep that. So you've been drinking alcohol? No, I drank some yesterday. Yeah, I didn't drink none today. <laughs> they just woke up. Huh? Here's the thing. Taking alcohol is something that clearly um, you agreed not to do to be in this program. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not, I just drank a little bit yesterday. That's the only day? Yeah, like I don't sit there and drink all the time. Like I'm barely ever drinking. Like I've been staying on this diet really good. I haven't eaten anything since I've been here. I haven't eaten one thing besides this food. Haven't drinking any soda. Haven't drinking any juice. Haven't drinking any sugar. It looks like alcohol was consumed at intervals throughout this whole 30 days we've been here is what it looks like. I'm really more concerned not with the fact that you drink alcohol, not with the fact that you have tobacco. It's like, okay, what will allow Austin to heal? You're this handsome, charismatic young guy, and you have uh, these patterns in your behavior where you're putting on a show for people. I bet you've heard this from your dad, your mom, your brothers, your friends. You know? Mm -hmm. Am I the first guy to ever say this? No. I've been trying to do this diet as much as I could. I see it. I have seen I just went. I just went to Mexico yesterday and just got a little... Not even drank that much. Like, seriously... 
Man, this is. I just, would have drank a fifth, this like in just the, thirty days. Huh? This is just thirty days. Yeah, but I don't know. Because Dr. Cousins now, he can't have a baseline of saying, hey, this will help Austin. He's going to be off insulin. Did you ever believe that could actually happen? No. Nope. Yeah. This is the Big 30, and we're celebrating that we made the day, my dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 30 days of eating raw. <laughs> we're talking about transition foods now, now that you don't um, have to do 100% raw. We wanted to first introduce you to the things that you can transition onto, things that you can have. We're going to be giving you recipes to try home, including the ones that you'll try these three. This is um, standard grandmother salad, and it's just got red onions, celery, um, four different kinds of beans. If you can't have it fresh, frozen is going to be better than canned. If you can't get either, you know, Vegetables. organic is going to be your next choice. Because we understand that it is a hard thing to do, especially when you're just thrown right into it, and you either sink or float, and all of you have made it through. Yay! Yay. The answer to diabetes is walking and sitting in this room, and here you are celebrating. This works. The lab tests really speak to that. so good I I don't want to get I don't want to get too young because I don't start administration. <laughs> I kinda I'm kinda glad it's gone. I thought the only thing that mattered was my insulin intake. That's what I thought this whole thing was about, you know? Yeah. So that's why I didn't worry about chewing her. But I'm starting to see now that it's different and the alcohol is just not, I'll never, I'll never, you know, I'll always be conscious about my eating for the rest of my life and drinking. I know what's good to eat now, which I had no idea before. And I really, I don't even deserve to be here and I never have, like I don't deserve this, you know, what you guys have given me. And I thank you out of the goodness of everyone's heart. It's been great and I thank you guys for everything you've taught me, for taking me down to five units of insulin, which I never thought would happen in my entire life. The bottom line is, are we willing to make that one little decision to go from here to here in our consciousness that allows the healing to happen? It's all within us to allow that to happen. There's no mystery, there's no secret. All you have to do is change your heart, change your ways. It's all there in front of our noses, and we've already experienced it. It's beautiful.
just this one month, uh, the transition's been so dramatic. I mean, I can't believe the changes that I've experienced. Gabriel read the uh, blood report yesterday, and I am a normal human being, and all my readings were normal, everything. This, as far as I'm concerned, was a, just a true miracle. Who could ever have thought about all this ha stuff happening in a month, just eating God's food, you know, natural enzymatic food, the natural enzymes. God, we, I've missed so much in my life. You know, and I hope to uh, impress with my children the right way to do this living here, you know, and be healthy and be clear. Uh, I want to see my, my son get married. I want to see him have children. I want to know his children. I want to be around for a while, my daughter, and I want to see her son grow up. Those are all the wonderful things, the real things in life. I don't want to miss it. So God gave me... <laughs> Another chance here to, uh, to live my life over again. Whew. Bye, I love you, Bill. You don't have to do this for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days for your life to be able to improve. You just need to take it a step at a time, as they say, baby steps. Take a little baby step, and you'll start feeling better. And you'll do more, and you'll do more, and you'll do more. In the beginning, just eliminate all things white from your from your your diet. Eliminate the sugar, eliminate the white flour. Uh, and, uh, if you can't eliminate it totally, cut back tremendously on the dead meat products. Begin to eliminate that kind of thing and begin to add living food. So I really came here to lose weight. So I lost a little weight, but I gained more life for um, my kids, for my husband, and more knowledge. I learned a lot about myself, my addiction to food, my love affair with food, and how I had to just shift my whole mindset. America stands before you. <laughs> but I'm just taking it one step at a time, how it works with me and my budget and my family and priorities. But this is pretty big up here now. It's like. I am a priority now, where I wasn't before. So the journey has been overwhelmingly rewarding. I have this conversation with people all the time. It's like, well, if I was sick or I found out I was dying or something was wrong, I would definitely change the way I live. Then why not change the way you live now? Then you won't be sick and dying. You know, you're waiting until it's almost too late to make a difference in your own life. People have their own struggles. And some people struggle with food really bad, you know? Some people struggle with alcohol really bad. Like, everyone just has their own struggles. But it's all pretty much the same. It was just nice learning how to get along with people. This month has been really great for my body, you know? Like, I think my body's really been healed a lot. From what I see, after this month, I'd see this as a potential cure for type 1. If you feed people real food, but as much real food as you possibly can, you're going to change the quality of health in this country. I believe that more than 50% of diseases will go by, the, go by the wayside. Everything in my body is working fine. My pancreas is working, it's giving me, giving me the insulin I need because I have not had insulin since I left Sarasota, Florida. My goal now is to stay as close to raw as possible. You ready? No, but I'm gonna be ready. I hate leaving this place. I don't wanna leave. I have support here at home. I won't have any support. My grandchildren, their mom, when she doesn't feel like cooking, she's going to bring some fast food in the house. But I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the challenges that I have set up in my head. So I'm kind of excited about it, but I'm really excited about seeing how I can get this into my community. I don't see why the doctors don't know about this, because I'm going to tell mine when I get back. Wherever you are right now with diabetes, with suffering, with pain, with cancer, with disease, with frustration, with doubt, there is a way out. You decide it. You choose.
It's so weird how people are so skeptical about raw food. I talked to one of my friends today. I was like, you know, I'm cured, right? And I'm, I'm off my insulin. Oh, you better be careful with that. You know, you should see a doctor when you get home. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, yeah, 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 you would say that because, you, you know, you don't understand what raw food is. No matter what anybody else says, says to me, I know what I'm feeling. And I know what I felt before. I know what it was like getting up every hour and having to go to the bathroom. I know what it was like to start losing my vision. I know what it was like to lose 20 pounds and have to take a three hour nap every time I ate. I know what that was like. I don't have that anymore. And I don't need medication to, f to not have to feel that way. That's amazing. It may not be for everyone, but for me, this works. And from what I've seen here, everyone who really tried it and put their effort into it, it works for them too. Taking anything I'm not taking diabetes. anything. I'm not taking anything from my high blood pressure, nothing else. And I feel good. Discontinued your insulin. Now, this diet that you learned, where was it? Out in Arizona? It's out in Arizona. Wow. Well, I'm impressed. There's going to be a presentation on raw food here in Sarasota. I will find out where it's going to be and call it in to you. Okay. Because I plan Great. to be there. So I'm going to see if I can be a support person for those who want to learn. Because there's so many people now all over the country. Right. It's plagued with Everybody. the city. I mean, mm -hmm. you can chase them around with medicines and try and get it down. It's You're just chasing your tail off. Uh, the fundamental thing in treating diabetes is what you put in your mouth, what you've learned. And mm -hmm. my God, you look like a different person. I feel like you one. You look great. I feel like one. Give me a hug. You're, you're something else. You really are. Thank you. How do we ship all my patients to, to Arizona? I got back to Baltimore. I tried to share with everyone the raw food experience. I didn't know anybody was going to be here out with the Baltimore. Oh, they can have a nice salad too. You want to try some? Want to try some granola? I made granola, and it was funny because I recall the parents saying, they're not going to like that. I was like, Shh, don't, don't say that. Let them try it. Don't influence them. You know, let them try it and see if they like it or not. That's good. That's all right. He's gonna have all the energy. You're gonna be good to go. No, it no, no. tastes good. <laughs> it does taste good. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. to take some home. All right. Okay. I, I like to take some home. And they actually liked it. The the kids liked the the granola and so forth. And at that point, I made raw lasagna. I also had salad and stuff like that. Thank you, Lord, for the food that you have given to us and allowed to be prepared. Please let this food be nourished into our bodies and allow the nutrients to be assimilated and incorporated into our body. Thank you. In all things, God. Amen. Amen. All right, let's try this and see how it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of tastes like lasagna. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a noodle. Mm -hmm, it does. Well, a lot of the conditions we have it now are because we moved to this fast food nation before we would take time to make food. Now we don't do that. Raw food requires that again. You have to take the time to put your energy, your love into making food and then sharing it with others. But I tell you one thing, it's a whole lot less time involved by making food than having to spend four days in a hospital. <laughs> So I've officially been back to Baltimore for a little over 60 days. Um, I got blood work drawn on Tuesday, and I'm going to get the results back.
the results were amazing. Based off the lab result I had before, I was type 1. I'm not supposed to be producing insulin. This isn't supposed to happen. But as you can see from the results, I'm producing insulin. I can go from being type 1 to not having diabetes. That's incredible. Incredible. Diabetes is reversible. We have the results to show it. What we see in this one month experience is everybody went off all their medications. Cholesterol's all went to normal, mind sharp, clear, happy. What we're seeing is they have walked to the top of the mountain of their human potential. Their minds have come back, their bodies have come back, their joy has come back. Do you now know you have a choice? That's the beauty. Diabetes is not a death sentence. Your chronic disease is not a death sentence. You can choose life and turn this around in a matter of weeks.